Hey guys, it's Sam. Today we're going to talk about lens rotation. So we're talking about when a lens is prescribed to correct for astigmatism, so it's a toric lens, and then it moves on the eye once it's in situ, or once it's on the cornea. Well, when that happens, it effectively changes the prescription from what you want it to be prescribed. So then we have to account for that and change the prescription. So with lens rotation, we're talking about an acronym. It's really simple. It's L-A-R-S, LARS. And, and what it stands for is left, add, right, subtract. And saying if, if when you're viewing that lens under the slit lamp, if it's turning to the left, you're going to add. If it's turning to the right, you're gonna subtract from the prescribed axis. So, um, for example, when our lens is equilibrated, which means when that lens has had a, enough time to um, be on the cornea and in the environment and it's settled, when it's equilibrated, we want the marker to be resting on that, on that 90, that vertical, you know, straight up and down. That's telling us that that lens is sitting properly. But sometimes what happens is it will actually rotate, whether it's rotating to the right or the left, and then we have to uh, change the prescription to account for that. So actually when a lens rotates counterclockwise, so if you think of a clock going the opposite way, it is moving to the right. So remember that right is counterclockwise and you wanna know that left is clockwise. And again, left we're adding and right we're subtracting. So we have one example for you, uh, a minus three, with minus 175 cylinder and axis 180. So if upon observation, this lens has rotated 20 degrees to the right, what should you prescribe? So you have to ask yourself, um, if it's moving to the right, that is counterclockwise, right, we are subtracting from the axis. So you subtract that 20 degrees from 180 and you prescribe negative three, negative 175, axis 180. Now, a lot of times, the exam isn't gonna say, you know, uh, rotates the left, rotates the right. It's gonna use the language clockwise or counterclockwise to try and mess you up a little bit. But that's where you have to remember that left is clockwise. So if it said that this lens, the negative three minus 175 at 180 rotated 30 degrees to the left or 30 degrees clockwise, you would have to use your acronym and remember left add. So if we add, 30 degrees to 180. Well, at, eight, at 180, we have to treat that at zero. So the new axis would actually be axis 30. So you would prescribe negative three, negative 175 at axis 30. There are other, there are methods for lenses to help them stabilize like prism ballast, peri ballast, truncation, different things that you should know those terms and look them up and make sure you study them for the test. But this is a, a question that you can work through on the exam, and, and you'll probably have three or four of these, and they're really simple if you know the rules. Uh, thanks for watching. I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel and just uh, keep watching, and hopefully it helps you in your studying. If you have any topics that you'd like for me to present, just uh, drop a comment below and let me know. Thanks.